useful so just five more minutes let me do this now uh, what i'll do i'll just explain one technique that is also used to eliminate the rhp0 right it's a small thing let me just do it else it is a different thing so recollect the rhp0 is coming because we were doing this capacitor and this capacitance is adding a, another current in addition to the current through the gm but uh, why did we even add this capacitor in the first place yeah we want we wanted to exploit the miller effect and that is why we did that and in miller effect what happened essentially was if i apply a test voltage here and let us say this has a gm2 and a conductance g2 at low frequencies what is this voltage minus gm2 by g2 times v test i'll call it minus a2 times v test so what is the current drawn from the voltage source 1 plus a2 times v test in laplace it is this and that is by looking in the capacitance was also a large capacitor so now uh, just think with me let us say i have a hypothetical scenario wherein let us say i apply a test voltage here and let us say i have a hypothetical current source that is drawing the same current approximately a2 times if somehow i put a current source of this value the looking in resistance looking in impedance will be what i mean looking in it will look like the same as before now also looking in it will look like a capacitance of cc if i can somehow ensure that even then you have the miller effect okay so the second question is how do you do that so it's not that difficult to see if this is v test now i want to get a voltage a2 times v test is how can i get a2 times v test here the output is what i already have this portion i want to get a current which is this voltage times scc what do i do i have the voltage a2 v test i want to get a current which is a2 v test times scc if i put a capacitor here okay now what is the current flowing in this direction zero minus of minus a2 v test that is a2 v test times scc now my job is to somehow sense this current here and push in the same current here so i need to have something that basically senses the current in one branch and then copies the current to another branch in other words it's a current source but its current is dependent on another current so what element does it current control current source right and what is the simplest current control current source you know common gate current control current source is a current buffer so you just have to use a common gate so if i uh, what i have to do is this so do this so this capacitor has to go to the input of a current buffer the current buffer as you know is a common gate input is at the source output of the current buffer has to connect here okay. and to bias it you have to put current sources here and there that's okay but the point is Uh, the thing is to uh, emulate this miller effect we can have a current buffer like this and then do it right and this will eliminate the zero because if you think about it the reason we had the zero was the following we had current flowing from gm2 as well as through the capacitor right now ideally we wanted the capacitor to provide only a feedback 
that is we wanted conduction in this direction but a capacitor doesn't differentiate directions it's a bilateral element that is why it was also conducting current in this direction that is what is issue for us now if i put this buffer here the current buffer is only making sure it is senses, sensing the current in one branch and copying the current in the other branch so in other words i have only conduction in the feedback side there is no effect of this here so that's how we can eliminate the zero and uh, this you can quickly do this so what i'll do i'll copy the schematic we have just a simple extension let me just show and finish it so instead of this yeah okay good point uh, you are asking this is incrementally ground so what is the resistance here ideally zero what is the resistance here so again it is not exactly zero that's the best you can get use a large enough gm that it works okay. so let me copy this actually and just show the schematic and we'll draw, wrap off so what we have to do is the following i have to let me remove the feedback here yeah i have to have the capacitor cc okay now ideally what you have to do is put a current buffer here so which means i have to do this okay and then connect it here right so uh, one end of the capacitor is connected to the output that is here other end is going to the input of the current buffer here output of the current buffer is going to the input of the second stage output of the current buffer goes here okay. so again to make sure it's biased properly you put current sources here and there but uh, this will this is not that efficient because you are having an additional branch consuming current so uh, that's when people thought do you know some ota topology that also uses a current buffer the cascode uses a current buffer right so the idea is why don't i use a cascode and reuse that current buffer okay so that gave rise to this topology i'll just show it and finish it so remember uh, okay i have to push it up so we have let us say cascode like this okay so now what we are planning to do is use this guy as the current buffer now right so have the same thing so one side of the capacitor is connected to the output other side has to connect to the input of the current buffer which is the source so i'll take it okay and the output of the buffer which is the drain is connected back to the input of the second stage so this is the drain that has to connect to the input of the second stage which is here and if i complete the circuit i'll have one more current buffer in the pmos side i mean uh, one more cascode in the pmos side okay, and then i'll make this connection it's the same thing the capacitor is connected to the input of the current buffer output of the current buffer is given back here so this way you get rid of the zero and it also uh, has the same effect as miller effect and this is typically called uh, ahuja compensation it's named after uh, bhupendra ahuja and it trivials he was uh, he is an alumnus of iit k so high chance that he was sitting in one of these classes and then thinking and you know called this so in practice there is one minor variation so 
what this what can also be done is the following uh, here is there some other transistor that is also working like a current buffer this is also a current buffer so you can also use that right so you can also do the following you can take the capacitor connect to the input of the current buffer output of the current buffer is connected already you can do one of the two or let us say you can split the capacitance as cc by 2 cc by 2 to any combination you want but yeah this introduces some additional poles and zeros let's not worry about it so this is also typically done if your first stage is a cas code if your first stage is a cas code doing this simply eliminates the rhp zero but if it's a normal five transistor ota best way to do it is to add the zero i mean the resistor here so yeah, I'll stop here. I'm sorry, I exceeded a lot of time.